we are here today and we are happy to be in Linda Hollett Bazuzzi's new studio. So the other thing we're going to talk about with Linda is um, plein air painting. Yes. So tell us for the folks that don't know what that is. Yes. So the term is a French term, en plein air. The word air has no E in it, please. Uh, it means in open air. Uh, all artists have used the idea of going outside to paint for many centuries, not just the French Impressionists, but often they were more studies that were then taken back into the studio and finished. It was the French Impressionists that really popularized the idea of doing plein air painting as finished paintings in and of themselves, which doesn't mean they didn't actually go in and touch up something later on, but primarily the idea was to go out, capture the moment, the movement, the light, the shadows, um, and be in the moment, and that be the final product. So that, that's where the whole idea came from. And this country has a pretty great passion right now for plein air painting, more there, so than almost any place else. There very much is. So we were able to go out to the Upper Shirley Vineyard yes. with about 40 to 50 artists with the Rice Rivers Center, Research Center. Yeah. Research yeah. Center. Um, they were doing a fundraiser out there. This was sort of part of that fundraiser. And these were the two pieces that you were I able did. to yeah. uh, create. I chose my spots. I chose several ideas, did some sketches. And when I went out there, pretty much knew exactly where I was going to be. And then I was only going to do one in this spot and then do something else. But um, it was a great day. I love the view and I love this, this stand of trees. So this was the little one I did first and I actually did a little sketch so I, when I got there I could get started because I didn't know how many people would be hanging around watching us and I didn't want to wait, waste too much time in preparation. So I had everything ready to go, started the painting and then normally you would find a new location. The light had changed very much, the shading had changed, the color of the water had changed and I thought, well, let me just continue with this idea. So I just did it again, spread out the stand more, because the stand actually is a pretty wide stand. It goes down the bank. But just love the way, I mean, it's just a beautifully uh, composed stand of trees. Thank you for sharing these sure. with us too. Right. The next thing we're gonna to talk to Linda about, because she is as passionate about this, if not more than I am, <laughs> and that is framing and how it should be done and how it should not be done. Linda and I were having the conversation that we have been back there at Crossroads when jurors have been during the show at Crossroads for the All Media Show and the actual piece of art is fabulous and wonderful but the framing is crap and there's no other way of putting <laughs> yeah, it. Crap. It just is mm -hmm. and the piece won't get in because the frame is dead dinged yeah. or they have it duct taped that's not a use for the tape that they have the piece duct taped in the back right. as opposed to appropriately put right. in so as you can tell it makes my blood pressure just oh my god me too I'm <laughs> <laughs> so let's have um, a conversation on several different things that linda has framed several pieces linda has framed mm -hmm. and sort of the where why and how so let's start with this little guy over okay. here I really wanted just a nice, clean, simple look. These are clip frames, not expensive frames, but I got a huge amount of positive feedback from mm -hmm. using these. And I would not do just one of those and then something else and something else, but this was two together as a pair. But if I had a whole wall of a series again, I like mm -hmm. working series of this kind of thing, I would put the whole wall up, same frame. So what happens is when people come in, they can immediately concentrate on the artwork because the frame goes away because it's all the same. So this I is do. a great example of simple sometimes is yes, better. I've, I've heard people say um, an ugly frame can make a great painting look bad, but a good frame can make a bad painting look much better. It's true. So it's huge. It's and true. you don't have to spend huge amounts of money. Okay, we're going to talk about this piece, which I, you do a lot of these frames and I think they're wonderful. The floater frame, right. Yeah. This is the floater frame, the one with the, uh, that uh, we, I also get uh, Ron to do is the faux floater frame because it has the built-in here. I like both of these. These are clean, 
it's simple, it does not detract from the painting. Oh, I want people to come in and see the artwork and then secondarily go, oh, I like that frame, or maybe I don't want the gold. That's a choice, but that would be a secondary consideration. And that makes me happy. Yeah, yes. and then this frame, we do sell at Crossroads. Ron Bassfield yeah. does these. I like these because they're so simple and this is um, not treated no, or right. not stained. You can also yeah. get it stained. You can I also like get it sealed. The, I don't. Know. Yeah, I like it the natural, and, mm -hmm. it, and it will just age as it should. And with these outdoor pieces, this is a great way of showing them off because it's wood. Right. It's nature. Yeah. It's simple. True. It's, and yeah. I think then people they can think, oh, that would be great. Uh, over my dining room table or this would be great in my cabin. And, and, the, and that one, this one actually is easy too because mm -hmm. if someone did buy this, these, these frames are pretty inexpensive. Yeah. Um, yes. So this could actually be taken off and then reframed as the person that's buying it would want. And then if it's a smaller piece, I do like a slightly larger frame uh, because if it's yeah. tiny, like this is the same size as the floater frame, but since it's a board rather than a stretch canvas, it's easier to put it in something like this. You don't want it too big or too busy. But a smaller piece like this also benefits from having a larger footprint on the wall. Well, thank you for giving us the insight on framing. It's needed. You're welcome. You can, you can also actually learn a lot more from Linda by taking her class. She holds them on and off at Crossroads Art Center. Um, so make sure that you check our class pages for that. Thank you, thank you, thank, thank you, you for all of your knowledge and well, sharing it with us today. Thank you for coming into my wonderful studio. We